margarine mix I've been using lately to great effect. It incorporates lots of different food items, giving myself and the carp lots of options to use. First part of my margarine mix is the new spod mix. With maples this time, everything's cooked in a bag, totally natural, full of goodness. Let's grab a bucket. As you can see, loads of different food items in there. Maples, maize, all good really carby attractors. The next part is the spod and PVA micro pellet mix. It consists of different pellets, small, some a bit bigger, krill pellets, carp pellets, halibut pellets, all got different breakdown times and they leave a really nice smell on the bottom, especially over silt. And the smell generally stays there for quite a long time. I have a good amount of them. Next, what carp doesn't have sweet corn? Yellow peril, as that was called. Absolutely amazing carp catcher. Caught thousands of carp, even caught the British record carp at one time. Whole tin, even the juice, straight in. Next part, baloney boilies. Need no introduction, caught hundreds of carp up and down the country. Great carp catcher. Good couple of handfuls in the crusher. Don't blend them right up, just a quick turn. Like that, so you've got different sized food particles in there. Good couple of crushers fulls. half baits in the polonies. This is going to obviously steed as a, another good hook bait for myself. No measures or anything, just as and when. Next item, tiger nuts. Absolutely brilliant carp catcher. I find that these generally pick out bigger fish as well, which is why I like to incorporate them in my margin mix. It's also another hook bait option. All the juice, tip that in there as well. Full of carpy attractors. A few tigers in the crusher. There. a couple of crushed balls, then I had a few whole ones, as I say, because this would be a hook bait option as well. Give it a good mix up. Next is Envy Method Mix, brilliant carb attractor. Crushed hemp and halibuts, all blended up. Not gonna put too much of this in, just enough to slightly bind it and put a little bit of a cloud in the water as it's going down. Give it a good stir. Thoroughly mix it up, so it's all evenly done. There you go, a mix full of carby goodness. You've got sweet corn, you've got maize, maple peas, tiger nuts, spoilies, you name it, it's in there. Giving yourself loads of options when it comes to hook baits. A bit like going to a Chinese restaurant with your friends. I mean, you all order different stuff off the starter menu. Every carb's different, a bit like human. Just give them options. You lay a tiger nut or a couple of boilies or even a couple of bits of maize out of this mod mix. You can't see them, fish are guessing all the time. Great way to fish. 